again, Sylvester Fly here, hope you're well. I've been out, bought myself a brand new Adventure Star helmet. Um, now I'm one of those people that subscribes to the fact that you can't spend too much money on protecting your head. So I try and get the best possible crash helmets that I can. I think like many people that Array and Shoei make the best helmets on the market. So I've gone for an Array this time. Uh, this is the Array Tour X4. It's, as I say, an Adventure Star helmet. It's been around for a little while, I think. Uh, but to me, I've done quite a lot of looking around the market, this seemed to be the one to have. Uh, all the reviews are good, um, when you actually feel it in your hands, the thing is just, uh, it's just awesome quality, it's an amazing bit of kit. So just to take you through a couple of features, and then we'll take it out on the bike and see how she does. Um, first thing about it, that uh, appealed to me at least, was the fact that it's got this, this peak that these adventure style helmets have. Uh, I was a little bit worried that it might catch the wind, uh, but more about that later. Array um, assure their customers that they've done wind tunnel testing on this and it doesn't catch the wind, so we'll see when we're out on the bike. But firstly, the peak, very handy, for, particularly at this time of year. Um, we're just in October at the moment here in Blighty. Um, there's some low sunshine in the sky, uh, and if you just tilt your head down, you can stop the sun going in your eyes, saves you sticking tape on your visor and stuff, so that's great. Um, I've gone for the one, as you can see, with the darkened visor, and I've also fitted in here uh, one of those pin lock anti-misting double glazing screens, have those on uh, all my helmets, work really well, so went for that. Uh, this one has really comfortable padding, not sure if you can see in here, but the padding actually in this helmet, there's, um, there's actually removable bits of foam, so if you find that you've got too much of the old hamster cheeks going on, you can actually take, I think, 15mm of foam out of the bit at the temple and the sides to, to really custom fit it to your head. It's also got these special quick release tabs, if you are unfortunate enough to have to test the helmet, then the emergency services can pull these and actually get the padding out of the helmet without having to fight to get it off your head. Uh, you know, if there's a risk of a neck or back injury, then it's easy to get the helmet off your head. So another nice safety feature, although let's hope you don't use it. The other great thing with these arrows is there's an absolute plethora of uh, ventilation. So on the front here, you've got this one, uh, which gives you great fresh air right into this front piece. Um, which we've got these vents here that are controlled by little sliding buttons in here. There are some additional vents on the top here, just a press button here, very easy to do when you've got a gloved hand. Um, and exhaust ports at the back as well, and even these are adjustable. So lots of ventilation. The other thing about these sorts of style of helmets is um, just because of the way this front bit pokes out a bit more, you've got a bit more space in the front, so a bit more roomy when you're wearing it. Uh, and also the visor itself um, has quite a wide field of view compared to a normal um, full face helmet. So you feel like you're, you've got much better all round and peripheral vision. The other thing about the arrays, of course, is they have these, uh, these built in patented vents actually in the visor itself, which uh, are really great if you're a glasses wearer, helps keep everything nice and demisted. So that's the helmet. Um, it feels like a quality piece of kit. I think um, they are quite expensive, but as I say, what price protecting your head. Um, I'm really pleased with it. Let's take it out on the bike though and see how she performs uh, in the wind on the bike. So here we are, we're out on, uh, on an A road. We're doing normal sort of road speeds, about uh, 50 miles an hour on this one. Uh, and initial thoughts on the helmet, very, very positive. Ooh, hello, hello biker there, nice nodder. Uh, very positive. The, uh, the first thing that strikes me is the whole helmet feels very, very roomy. There's an awful lot of room created by this uh, sort of wider chin bar than you have on an all uh, closed face helmet, so that's, that's really welcome. The other thing is the ventilation is absolutely superb with all these various vents on the helmet. Uh, really nice and airy. The other thing that strikes me compared to my other helmets that I've tried is the vision, the all-round visibility is absolutely fantastic. Much wider and much deeper, like looking at a IMAX cinema screen as opposed to a usual cinema screen, so that's really good. Uh, and the really nice surprise, I think, is that I'm getting absolutely no buffeting on my head at these sorts of road speeds. I have gone faster with this helmet on on a previous trip, uh, up to sort of dual carriageway speeds, 70, 80 miles an hour, absolutely no buffet. Uh, I don't know if that's down to the clever aerodynamic design of the peak, or whether that's due to my MRA screen, or whether it's both, but um, either way, works really well. No buffet whatsoever. In fact, less buffet than I get on my normal closed face showy helmet. So that's just superb and a nice surprise. The other good thing, uh, not so much today, but uh, I rode the bike the other day with one of those low autumnal suns, and I was riding into the sun, and just being able to tip my head like that was enough to still be able to see absolutely fine, but it just this peak just cut the sun out from the, the glare from my eyes. So fantastic in that respect, very useful addition, which is really my one of my main reasons for buying it. That plus the aesthetic. I think, uh, a bit sad maybe, but there we go, we all do it, don't we? Uh, I think this sort of helmet looks, looks great with, uh, with this sort of adventure type kit, it's in keeping with it. So overall, really, really pleased with the Array Tour X4. Comfortable, roomy, great visibility, 
nice and quiet. Uh, what more can you want? Maybe a little bit expensive, but you kind of get what you what you pay for, and it does feel like a premium build quality. So, uh, big thumbs up to Arrow for the export. So, I hope that's been uh, of some interest to you. Look forward to uh, riding out with you again soon. Until then, this has been the Missenden Flyer. Cheerio. Just as a little addition to the film, uh, just as I'm riding back home here, uh, I hope you can still hear me by the way, obviously I've opened up the visor now, I uh, should have done that before, I just told you what that was like. Um, again, not too much wind to the face because the windscreen's working a treat, uh, no buffet on the helmet, but what is really good, again, is because of this wide field of view, um, it almost feels like I've got an open face helmet on, but of course I've still got the benefit of all the protection of the chin bar. So uh, another thumbs up, another gold star for the RA Tour X4. Uh, fantastic helmet, recommend it to you. Okay, speak to you soon, cheers.